Happy Ride and we're gonna use the Can't Stop Won't Stop um, primer. This is for oily skin. Um, there are better primers, I will say. Um, so this wasn't a must have or will be bought again. Um, I can honestly say that I didn't completely really like that primer. Um, the next thing I do is go ahead and add some of my translucent powder over top of that primer to make sure that my base is going on really smooth. Now I'm going to go on with the star of the show which is the Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation which I have in the color Deep Sable. I just went off of the foundation color that I have in the Total Drop um, formula which was Deep Sable as well. So I just figured that maybe that they would keep it the same um, when they went over to this foundation which I did pretty okay with choosing this color. Um, it's a little bit on the warmer side but it ultimately dries down actually really perfect or a really really good match for me I feel like now I'm gonna take this Real Techniques Diamond, Diamond <laughs> sponge um, it's really weird but I kind of like it now if you can't or have never seen me use this yes this is the first time using this Maybelline um, eraser concealer which um, I later found out that I used entirely too, too much of it because I was just blending for minutes on minutes. So yeah, be careful with how much you're using of that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is take this ColourPop concealer. I believe this is in Deep Dark. Um, it's just a shade or two darker than me. Um, you guys know I normally use something else, but you know, for the sake of a budget, friendly video I'm gonna use this ColourPop um, concealer which you can purchase online and I'm gonna be using that same Real Techniques um, diamond sponge um, I have, I'm wishy-washy about the sponge um, but for certain purposes it works really really well like blending out the edges of my foundation I kind of find it a little bit difficult using the size of it but when it comes to my under eye that nice point that the sponge has I really really like that and also for applying my powder I really really like it because it's you know very sharp very straight on the sides or at the point so it makes it really really easy but to blend out my contour and I really did not like it for that so ugh, honey this is the makeup revolution banana powder and let's just say I found out how not to use it and how long not to keep it on. So I placed this all over my face. It's a really, really decent color, but I found out, honey, honey, this was not the best thing to do far as uh, baking. You know, I did like the highlight that it left. But honey, I just no, honey. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you in just a second. So now I'm gonna take the it's my Ray Ray palette and very lightly take that dark shade and use that to set my contour. And when I say very lightly, I mean like you tap it in and you don't go back in again, okay? Because you have to very lightly take this color. Um, for a duper <laughs> for my uh, contour down my nose, I'm taking the Black Radiance Warm Hazelnut color. And for my brows, I'm going to take the ColourPop Brow Pencil in Black and Brown, which is one of my staples for myself and as well as my makeup kit for clients. It's so super easy and a go-to. You can buy three of these for the price of a MAC Spike Pencil, so I definitely do recommend these. Now to conceal my brows or clean them up, I'm going to take the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm also going to take that same concealer and um, use that as a base or primer for my eyeshadows to stick to. Going back to the It's My Ray Ray palette, I'm going to take that uh, brown shade right there, then this orange shade, and then this gold shade. Um, only those three colors from that palette, that is it. So first with the brown shade, I'm going to take that into my crease area and I'm going to build that up. It's pretty opaque, I must admit. Um, then I am going to take um, a little bit of that orangey shade and blend at the edges of that first brown shade. Just kind of blend out the edges. 
Now I'm gonna take my finger with that gold shade and I am going to put that on my lid with my finger. Then the brown orangey shade, I'm going to just blend that down at my uh, lower lash line. So, honey, as you can tell, your girl was having a whole lot of trouble dusting this off. <laughs> honey, it was at this point I knew that I had fucked up. So I will say that you better not, you better not bake for as long as I bake with this powder because honey, it's it's not going nowhere. It's literally not going anywhere. You see these lines, these harsh lines? No, mm -mm, honey, no. And I had the most trouble still trying to apply powder and get those lines to go away. But to lessen the highlight underneath my eyes, I did go over it with my L'Oreal um, powder. Um, then I used my highlight, which was the um, baked bronzer from Black Radiance. And I think this is in a color, well yes, it is in a color beautiful. I absolutely love this as a drugstore highlight. This is one of my favorite, favorite drugstore highlighters besides the Nika K Blush Duo. They have one that has like a brown and pink shade in it and it's uber gorgeous. I've used it a couple times in my YouTube videos. But um, this is the Baked Bronzer from Black Radiance. Just drenching myself in this highlighter. Now I'm going to take one of my favorite um, blush palettes, which kind of got broken the other day by a client, but I still love her. Um, and I always go super hand with blush. I'm going to control myself. I was so mad about that, that powder that I went back with a little bit of my foundation and just kind of went over where that powder line was. Just the tiniest, tiniest bit. Um, just using my NYX lip pencil in Chestnut. Then I'm going to take my CoverGirl um, new lipstick in the color Trending. I love Trending. Trending is my new favorite nude from the drugstore. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look for the video for the drugstore part. Stay tuned for my reviews. Alright you guys, so final thoughts on the NYX uh, Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and primer. Um, I do believe that these two are pretty freaking good and for the price that they are. Um, basically for a drugstore foundation or a low-end foundation and primer. Um, do I believe it's full coverage? I actually want to say that I think that the Total Drop foundation is a little bit more full coverage than this one. They both still are lightweight. They both are, you know, like foundations that I can say that I really, really actually do like. I like this foundation, but um, I don't think it's as much coverage as the Total Drop one. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't. But it did still cover up and I didn't feel like I needed to use a whole, whole lot for it. Um, I am in Deep Sable, the same color that I am in the Total uh, Drop Foundation. So if you have a color that you match with in the Total Drop Foundation, I would definitely say, you know, get that same color in the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation. Um, this, this foundation, I will say like it just... I'm not gonna say that I'm wowed, but I am appreciative that I have another um, low-end foundation that works for me and um, does perform really well. I, am I gonna do it for 24 hours and for a review? Heck no, because I have acne prone skin. And you guys, I cannot do that to my skin. I hate when I break out, um, you know, for, you know, just our monthly, but I can't, you know, risk my face for a review. I just, I just can't, you know, no, some things you can't do for the money. So, um, no, I'm not going to try it out for 24 hours. I will say that I will try it out for, let's see, I put it on at 1 o'clock, so I will go until 12 o'clock with the foundation, and I will come back and let you guys know how I feel about it. So, um, yeah. If you like these little um, uh, videos with me doing more drugstore looks, then definitely hit that thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comments um, that you want more drugstore or more low-end, uh, budget-friendly uh, videos and budget-friendly looks. 
please let me know by liking this video or commenting down below. And you guys, I will come back to you with my final thoughts on this foundation in a little bit. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is my last and final checkup, even though this would be my first checkup for check-in. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to come on and say it's been, what, nine hours. Um, I put on the foundation at one o'clock and now it is 9.55. I need to go ahead and take this off. Not because there's something wrong with the makeup or anything like that, um, but your girl, I, I don't stay in makeup like super, super long time unless I'm going out. Um, but I did go ahead and also blot about two hours ago. Um, it was mainly in my T-zone, the same place I always, you know, get oily at. Um, it wasn't extremely bad. Um, I will say that um, maybe I have like a little dry area over here on the side of my face. Um, that's probably from my own skin because I'm, I'm definitely getting, you know, like a combination skin type thing going on with, with myself. So um, I had a little dry patch over here and I could definitely tell in a few of my pictures, like it's like right here and on the side of my mouth. Um, and I don't really creased or anything like that um it, it's i would definitely say that i would get this foundation i would choose this foundation again um i will say that i would not bake as long as i did with that uh makeup revolution powder um mainly because it definitely stuck to me like it was incredibly stuck um, and I had to, as you can tell in the video, I had to go between my powders to kind of um, get it all or make it blend. So definitely don't bake for that long um, or as long as I did. But like I said, overall the foundation, I can definitely say that this, I have to, I, have to, I think I have to wear it again before I say it's a favorite. Um, mainly because of the, the coverage part. That, I think that's the only con I think that I have with it is it, that it just wasn't as full coverage as I was hoping it to be. Again, like I probably said at the beginning of the video, I feel like the serum or the total drop foundation that they had is even more full coverage than this one because I think it just had so much pigment in that one and this one doesn't. Um, but I would recommend this for anybody that is um, combination or oily skin. Um, I think it did a really good job. I really do think it did a good job. It's just really, really humid out here in Louisiana. And I think that it would do so much better, like in the wintertime and, you know, in fall and all that. But it's just really humid this year. And that's the only reason I think, like, it, you know, my skin oiled up as much as it does with some of these foundations. Um, but again, I, I would definitely recommend this, but I am gonna wear it a second time to fully grasp like the coverage on it to make sure it is, you know, to my liking. Um, so you will be seeing this again. Um, if you guys enjoyed this look, if you enjoyed um, this review, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. I would truly appreciate it. Share this video to any of your social media pages, Twitter or Facebook, and also just recommend me to any of your friends if you enjoy my videos. Um, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you next time.